Okay, so let's do another question here from the forum on EliTheComputerGuy.com. Uh, what do you think about the online master's degree programs from universities? This comes from Terrence. Um, I have completed several courses in the edX.org platform before, and I think they are generally interesting. They have been offering a couple of online master's degree programs since last year or so, like this master's degree in computer science from the University of Texas at Austin and several others uh, from some different universities. What do you think about these online master's degree programs. What's your opinion career-wise? Career shed some light on this subject, please. So this is an interesting one to go back to. Again, I've been doing videos now for about 10 years. Can you believe that? I've been doing question and answer videos for 10 years. And so obviously the advice that I would have given a couple of years ago is not necessarily the advice I would give now in 2019. Let's timestamp this. Um, so are master's degrees in computer science good from online institutions? Well, I've talked with a lot of recruiters. So I've talked with a lot of recruiters over the years. And what I can say from the recruiters, this is not my opinion, but from the recruiters mouths is they are, they are a okay with online master's degrees. Um, at this point in time, um, they consider online master's degrees to be the, the same, the equivalent credential as an in-person master's degree. So if you're a professional and you're looking for a master's degree, um, there's no reason not to do the online program. Now, one of the things that I will tell you again with all these online programs is there's like the idea of the online master's degree and then the spe spe specific one you go for. Uh, I will caveat that with make sure you go to a good online program. Uh, since things are online, it's easier to deliver education online. And so you have a lot of charlatans and you have a lot of crap out there. Um, so it's not that, you know, it's not that online education is bad. It's the particular program you went through is bad. So I think that's that's one thing to, to be careful about. But otherwise, um, again, I, I have talked with numerous, uh, numerous recruiters in the tech world um, and for a while now they have not looked down on online programs what i always warn people though with the online programs is if you are a professional right so if i want to go back and get my master's degree uh, an online program would be fine if i wanted to do it right if you've if, if you're if you're already a professional you've already got a couple of years experience under your belt and you want to go for a master's degree program and you want to go online I, I don't really see any problem with that. Again, I will warn people about the discipline angle. Um, a lot of people don't have the discipline to do online education. Uh, this is this isn't to be clear. It's not a knock against them. It's not like it's just. You know, you get home from eight hours worth of work, you deal with your spouse, oh, you, you got to clean up something in your house, and then you want to sit down for an hour or two online. It's, it's really easy to crack a beer and, like, stare at a screen of online education, but not actually bring anything in. So, I mean, I think that that's one of the things with the whole discipline angle that you have to be careful about. But again, if, if you can do that, that's fine. What, I, what I'm what i more concerned about is, again, more like the noobs. Uh, so a lot of people, they get their bachelor's degree and then they go right into like a master's degree program. The big problem in the tech world is, remember, we are solving problems. Our entire job, you know, really, our job isn't about configuration files. It's not about VPNs. It's not about a lot of these things. It's about solving actual problems. And one of the big problem, the, the issues that I see with folks going into things like online programs is that all they learn is the academic, right? If they don't have the real world experience, so they have no context for what they're learning, then they just sit there and basically they spend two years learning a bunch, a bunch of academic stuff that doesn't necessarily mesh well with the real world when they go out to, to, to actually try to get a job. And then one of the problems too is if you're doing an online program, you're not meeting people, right? So if you go to an, uh, an in-person master's degree program, right? Every class you're gonna be in is gonna have 20 people. And so you're gonna be talking and you're gonna be networking working with those 20 people. And so with a master's program, is it 12? Let's say 12 classes. So 20 people times 12 classes, that's up to 240 people that you're gonna be interacting with, plus you're gonna be interacting with a professor, plus it's gonna be easier to get things like internships and all that kind of stuff. And so with an in-person master's degrees program, it's, it's much easier to have your head, like to be in the right head space. Sounds weird, right? There's the academics, there's, there's understanding how everything works and all that kind of stuff. But then there's being in the right head space. And I would say for a lot of new folks, um, the in-person classes are better for being in the right head space, actually talking with people, understanding, <laughs> squirrels up there, um, 
understanding what problems people actually care about, understanding what technology is actually being used. I mean, that's the thing. You go to a master's program, you're learning things. They're going to be talking about lots of different technology. They may talk about AWS and Azure and, and Server 2016. And the thing is, if you have no context, right, if you have no, if, if, if you're coming in new and you don't understand the difference between Microsoft Active Directory and Azure and AWS and Linode and DigitalOcean, it's really, it's, it's, compl it's hard to get your mind around what you're supposed to be paying attention to. Um, whereas if you go and you're talking with people and like, oh yeah, you know, we're supposed to do this project. So I'm, I'm thinking about that I'll do this, uh, this project on Azure. And somebody says, oh, well, you know, my company, we actually experimented with Azure, but we found out blah, 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 blah. And so that's why we went with AWS or vice versa or you might go like oh yeah you know the professor wants us to do this uh, to this project I think I want to design it using AWS and then somebody says oh well you know depending on what corporation you're basing your your thing around right if you already have Microsoft licenses then Azure might be a better platform in order to connect into your your current infrastructure right is that little kind of advice that can just be incredibly valuable in the real world uh, so that would that, that's kind of my thought again if you're a professional if you know what the hell's going on, if you know you've got discipline, you got discipline, you got discipline, then uh, by all means, online, online master's degree. Again, find a good one, find a good one, but otherwise it should be fine. If you are a noob, just be careful. Just be careful because one of the reasons why I hate answering questions about things like how to get jobs. Um, so I used to answer a lot of questions about getting jobs and now I hate those questions. I hate those questions with a passion because I get questions about that like globally from people all around the world or even people all around the in the United States, right? And if you get a master's degree and you're here in the Baltimore area, right? We've got an area called Columbia. Um, there's, there's lots of jobs here. There's lots of jobs here. So if you get a master's degree online around here, you should be fine. You'll get a job. You'll get a decent job. But, you know, if you're in the middle of Alabama, if you're in the middle of Kentucky, if you're in the middle of Tennessee, and you don't want to leave, right? My family is here, right? If you're in some small or mid-sized town in Tennessee or something, and you get your master's degree in IT, or, you know, some kind of tech field, there is going to be a question of, is there actually a job for you in that area? Um, if you don't, if you don't know people around you. Um, and so that's why it's better to go for those, those in-person schools because you can build up the networking. Um, so yeah, I think that's my thought on it. I think that's my thought. So anyways, if you have any questions you want me to answer, I think about going to the forum at Eli, the and I'll see you folks in the next video.